I am very sorry you are so stressed out. I can feel the anxiety in your question about this traumatoid factor. So what I want to tell you is very, very important, okay? We do not make a diagnosis based on a blood work. So you absolutely could have rheumatoid arthritis, even with a negative rheumatoid factor, and you can have absolutely nothing and have a very elevated rheumatoid factor. So what you need to do is go and see a doctor that's going to actually evaluate, evaluate the joint pain that you have. So basically the question is like, uh, do you have joint pain, uh, the pain in your leg? What are you talking about? Like, is that a pain that's radiating from the back all the way to the leg and then maybe all the way to the foot? If that's the case, then we're not talking about rheumatoid arthritis or an inflammatory arthritis. We are talking about a radiculopathy when there's a nerve that's pinched like in sciatica. So again, a rheumatoid factor by itself does not make a, or does not rule out a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. And then the next thing is that uh, even in terms of rheumatoid factor, we don't consider uh, a low number to be really that important. Uh, so you would have to have a really elevated rheumatoid factor, more than 30 or some sort of uh, numbers like this, to really um, tell us that you have a positive rheumatoid factor. So again, I think the question here is why do you have the pain and is it really rheumatoid arthritis? It might absolutely not be rheumatoid arthritis. There are other reasons to have pain in the leg. And if it is only one side, um, most likely uh, it's a radiculopathy. So most likely it's a nerve that's pinched and that is um, uh, something that your primary care physician can evaluate for. Okay, so good luck. Let us know uh, how you're doing and uh, we are rooting for you. Take care.